Hello, I'm Sean Lamb, award-winning author of numerous books in the fantasy and historical fiction genres. One of the questions I am asked at every single event has to deal with my covers. Uh, I'm always complimented that we have striking covers, but also asked, who designs your covers? And I have to say, my husband designs my covers. He is a professional graphic designer. So in this video, we're going to be discussing cover design. Now, my first book, Alon, this was actually traditionally published. Now, fortunately, the, my publisher accepted my husband's design. Now, we like good old fashioned leather covers. And this was back in 2009. So what we did for research is we went to bookstores and we saw very vibrant, you know, covers with people and magic and everything else on the covers to the point where our eyes were glazing over. So we wanted to make it stand out. So we designed this to be, look like an old leather book. Now, Rob will be showing you a little later on how he designed this. But if you have this particular version, this is edition one. This is now out of print. So this is a collector's edition. This was only a limited run by my publisher before I got the rights back for the second edition, which I put the original title of Struggle for Alon and added 12,000 more words to it. This one we wanted to keep very similar. Now, flash forward after about 12 years or so and seeing the progression of more polished graphic designs, we redesigned the cover. And again, Rob will be talking about this and a special shout out to the person on the cover. My name is Robert Lamb. I did the cover design for Sean Lamb's series, Alon. This is the very first book which Sean showed you in the beginning of this video. What I'd like to show you is how I got this design done. This is the raw scan of an old Bible that I used as the base, the leather base for the cover of Alon 1. Added a frame line, and the center portion of this crest is important in the story. One of the villains in the story tries to destroy this. And so I added scratches. Now in order to get these scratches, I'm gonna put this back to normal and this way. As you can see, this was from another book that we scratched up, but I was able to blend this in such a way that it looks like it's scratching into this cover. Then I added a embossed texture around here and a buckle and corners. And this was one of the original titling experiments. And then this last thing was to get the uh, color right. With input from my publisher, this was what we settled on without the buckle. Now, when it came to the second edition and I got the rights back from the publisher, we didn't want to deviate too much from the original. So what we did was I added the original title, like I said, but I really liked the buckles. So we put them back, but in a less obtrusive manner. And we changed the color. When we updated all the covers of the series, uh, we decided to still keep the concept of the old book for Struggle for Alon. Because that's, that's really important to the story, so that it had to stay in there. So there we have the, the crest that was on the original covers, still there in that book on the table. But what we did do is we added a character up in the upper right-hand corner, the character of Shannon. And that is portrayed by our daughter, Brianna. In fact, Brianna did an entire photo shoot 
portraying Shannon with a real wolf companion.